Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Lawrence Plays Factorio Space, Space Expansion. I've been working gradually towards the building up some more of these components that I need for the next level of, um, of getting my spaceship finished. Uh, there's quite there's a few, several stages to each of these, so they need to be researched first. So at the moment I'm doing the spaceship command module, um, we've got the fusion reactor and faster than light, and again going back to the faster than light theory ones. Um, and so each of those, as you can see, I need to research them, and then they'll appear in my list of things I can build here as, as normal. Uh, then I can build them, shove them in a rocket and send them up to space and tick, all the, and tick the various things off on here. So here we've got one making the, which one's this, this is the protection field. And as you can see, this takes 100 Mark VI energy shields. So basically the idea behind all of these is they're all horrendously expensive. So they're supposed to there, be there to make sure that you've got a, a decent factory built up and then it can churn through um, and produce the massive quantities of resources you're going to need in order to do all the launching. I've also already built the um, the 10 hull components I need, so those are all ready to launch, and those are relatively straightforward. Uh, to do those, I think I just put in down here, yeah, I had a, I had this um, assembly machine here, it was just pulling in the uh, the low density structures and then building them into, the, uh, into those things. And I then came down here and switched it over to making whatever these are, these things, the fuel, fuel cells, um, which also takes in the... Uh, purple circuit boards and, and rocket fuel, which I'm, I am I'm now bringing to it by um, by bot, and then it's made enough of them so I can just go down there and grab them. So I'm going to leave this one here alone because this is only only 27% finished so far, um, because this is actually an enormously expensive thing to build. Each of these um, uh, shields requires two of the previous version plus various modules and processing boards and alien artifacts. So if basically in order to make one of these, I need two of these, four, eight, 16, 32 of the Mark 1s, and then that works all the way up. The problem I'm running into at the moment is that I don't have enough of the um, yellow module boards left, uh, created rather, um, and that's, to be honest, there's no real good reason for that. It's just it's just because they're, they're chugging through being made and gradually. Um, oh, it looks like there's, that's making too many of them. Let's go down and, and check that out. Um, because yeah, I don't want to, I don't want it to make more than there's a real need for. Are you not? St oh, you're going to 500. Okay, you can stop at 200 from now on. And that will now allow it to back up down here a bit, so the the marks, the level sixes will will get built and stay in there for long enough for a bot to fly through and grab them and take them over before they get swallowed up into into the next. Um, next couple of levels of, uh, of construction. So that should get that working again. So now I shall nip down here and pick up the uh, the finished power modules from down there and then take them all over to the to the rockets uh, rocketry area. Now what I've over in the rocket area I've stopped putting satellites in. I've stopped putting anything in at the moment. As you can see this this machine here has gone to sleep um, because I'd launched enough of the um, the dry dock components and the dry dock assemblies uh, and that was what I was building down here at the time so now I can um, bring the rest of the stuff over shove it in a box here and then and then load it into the rockets ready for ready to go up so let's grab this I want to stop that doing what it's doing I want to take those now how many fuel cells do I need I need two fuel cells I've got three because I forgot to set the um, machine to only do two which is a bit of a shame but never mind Put those in there to get rid of them. Uh, the rest of the stuff, I suppose, I can hang on to. I can put the rocket fuel in my locomotive to keep it going. Right, now we take this over to the train area. I could do all of this with bots, but it was important to go in there and, and tell that assembly machine to stop making fuel cells, because I only need two of them, and they're quite expensive, so I don't want to end up using all of the resources up, because I'm going to need them for other things. So, now what I can do, let's... Um, do that so I've got room to put a box in. Put in let's put in a um a request yeah, a request a chest, then I can get stuff sent there by um, logistics network if I want to. Then we'll put in a couple of um inserters there and there. Right, so now anything I put in here will be loaded into the rockets. Hopefully. Yep, here we go. That must have taken, yeah, I think two of them. So now we can leave this, uh, these machines here building the next, um, the next 
rocket. Or next pair of rockets, rather. So there we go, two hull components have gone up. Now that'll close. These will start chucking parts in and we can start building up the next rocket. As you can see, this goes quite quickly because I've got the um, the four productivity modules in there. So every one of these is worth um, two and a half, I think. Um, 80, 160, 320. No, each of these is worth about four. That's brilliant. Um, so that that's, as you can see, that's ticking up fairly quickly. So I can go off and get on with other things. Now... The other things in question, well, one of the big things, as you can see, these, I've got research going on up here, and that's going pretty slowly. That's going in, into the, um, the the Starship Command Module, as I said before. And that's going rather slowly because, mostly due to a lack of um, science science packs. As you can see, I've got here, I've, I think I'm missing purple now, that's interesting, it was pink that was being a problem before. Let's see what's being a problem over here. Um, I think that's pink. I can't tell pink and purple apart very well. Um, Yes, it's pur purple that's being the problem now. And why is that? That's because I've run out of whatever this is. I've run out of um, iron. iron. Really? I can't have run out of iron. I've just fixed that. So, um, what I was saying is I've been going around finding out which bits are inefficient and then boosting that. They're b boosting them. And now, in, in some places, that means just going in and filling them up with um, productivity modules, as I've done here sure why this is so bad. I'm gonna, oh, there's no red circuits coming through either. Oh, everything's just sort of too resource hungry. So we're generally, I've gone through and put in um, red modules in all of the all of the um, science assembly machines and lots of the things that are making the precursors for the science as well. Because just to, just this allows me to produce more without needing more machines, which is handy for for building purposes. And also, it means it drastically reduces the amount of resources flowing in that I need to build the science packs. Now the interesting thing about Angel Bobs is these red science packs, uh, sorry, these productivity modules, they increase energy consumption and, pol and pollution, sure, and productivity. They don't actually increase, uh, they, sorry, they don't decrease speed, which the ones in vanilla do. So you can just go in and whack them into these machines and you'll suddenly double or triple the output without actually needing to um, worry about putting more machines in in order to keep it going. So that makes it a bit easier, uh, which is kind of a relief given how hard, much harder the rest of the game is. For um, So for iron, for example, I've gone in, I went in, I put in the productivity modules in all of the uh, casting machines as usual, as I've been doing with various other metals. I also um, doubled the amount of the, the, the systems I've got, so instead of having just one here and one here, I've now got the extra ones, third and fourth ones here and here, which is feeding a bit more through. I'm not quite getting the full um, four green belts in that I would ideally want to get, but uh, that's down to how fast this this part runs. Maybe I need to look into making the next the, the Mark III versions of all processes and Mark II versions of pellet presses. I, d I don't really know. I, I, I could probably do that, but at the moment this should be okay. Yeah, we've got these are basically full now, so I don't know why that one up there isn't isn't filling up. I might have screwed something up here. It says minus 20. Yeah, I don't know why that's not working. I shall go and have to go and have a look at that um, between episodes. I've been doing that sort of thing all over, though, going in and putting in the um, in, in um, product productivity modules. So they're in all the way along, well, along a big chunk of these. Um, uh, what are these rocket control modules? Various um, circuit boards. Oh dear, I'm in trouble with words today. Sorry about that. Uh, and getting yeah, and just just getting everything running a bit more, a bit more efficiently. So the things that are in heavy use and therefore produced and therefore running a lot and getting through large quantities of ingredients, um, I've gone in and boosted them with the um, with the circuit board with the uh, productivity modules. I've also gone in in a lot of places and put in uh, an upgraded to green belts for the same sort of reasons in order to just to get things running faster and produce more of whatever it is they're producing. So it's not been a particularly deep and clever way of upgrading. It's just been going in and sort of brute forcing it by productivity modules and faster belts. So, but it, it is working. Um, most things are now, I mean, if I, if I bring up my um, chat history here, you can see that most of the things that have been failing are things I don't care about too much. So the sapphire ore I don't care about because there's a mine right next to the uh, refinery, so I'm not actually using that. Radar 5 is in small, low, low demand anyway, because that's just for satellites. Um, iron plate is an odd one though. I need to work out why that's being funny. Um, and then there's a couple of, a few of the science pack productions are struggling as well. 
but most mostly it um it all seems to be working reasonably well at the moment it's just some of these jobs are so big it's taking forever to actually chug through it all uh, how are we doing here yeah, there's 124,000 of them only 3.8 okay so we're red, red red circuits or something i need to improve as well so because i'm getting through them a lot faster than i'm making them but in general things are mostly working it's it is the um it's just the science packs and it occurs to me as, I was, as i've been doing this just how much of a resource sink this space expansion uh, mod is as i'm saying these are using in up enormous quantities of all of those if, if i go in and have a look at some of these things got the that those yeah again there's a sort of the, the using hundreds of things 50 speed module eights for example that's an enormous quantity of stuff going in as you know if you look at the the raw materials at the bottom there's 2.2 thousand aluminium going into that that's crazy um and these these are quite expensive these i haven't even got to habitation thinking about habitation yet that's not too bad i suppose if i only need one or two of those that's that's manageable it's a lot of plastic but plastic's fairly easy life support so, yeah, so it's the productivity modules. Those are the, those are the sort of the big expensive things because they require a lot of steps to take and some weird ingredients. And I've only got one, one machine producing those, so that's going to take quite a while to, to, to do. But otherwise, yeah, I mean, it, it's coming along okay. I've I've researched quite a few chunks of the um the spaceship now. So so one, two, three, four, five, six out of ten, nine. Um, not including all of this faster than light nonsense, which is going to take an enormous amount of research packs. Because these are, as I, said, as I was saying in an earlier episode, these are two million each. I, I can't even, as, you, as they say, it's, it's just, it's just crazy. And then I need to get right up to the top one in order to make the faster than light drive, which will be the final, final thing that goes into this, um, into this system. Oh, another rocket's gone up, and actually another three rockets have gone up because the fuel cells have gone as well. So that's, that's five now. Um, so the, yeah, the rockets are the um, the easy part of this. It's just, it's building up the stuff to put in them that's uh, that's hard. So I shall uh, leave the, leave the factory to carry on with this. The um, the research is of course the big part of it, but then there's also all these little things that of course that are taking the time. It looks like I'm going to be able to make a few more of these. So uh, let's see. That's done. That's done. That's done. That's done. That's doing. That one is relatively normal stuff I'll probably find somewhere sensible to, to, to put that on the bus and just suck in all the things it needs that's done again the same with that one it's just pulling in lots and lots of resources and yeah that one as well this isn't this, so as I say this isn't going to be too difficult it's just just heavy on the resource account so I'll hopefully get all of those done maybe even the uh, protection field as well done by the next episode and perhaps we can start off by launching those into space as we're going, let's see, the rocket is, the next rocket is nearly half done, and that one's nearly half done as well. So yeah, I think this is running perfectly well. It's just going to be a matter of time, and then getting all of that research done. <laughs> but fortunately for you guys, I can do that all off camera. So I hope you'll come back in a little while, see how, how I'm getting on with it, and um, yeah, join me for the next episode. I'll see you then.